Hello and welcome to another uh, statistical analysis. This is going to be based on the t-test with two uh, sample assuming the unequal variances. In order to make sense of this, I'm going to use the same video uh, set of data that I used in the previous video, the f-test, where we had five uh, males and we have six females for the number of the hours they study every week. The number of the observation for the female were six observation and the observation for the male were five. So how does the t-test uh, for two sample assuming an equal variance in this case? Remember, we have two uh, side to the story here. We have two sample and we could go ahead and uh, <coughs> the, uh, remember also that in the ANOVA test, we did test the three uh, means for uh, either they're all equal, uh, but we also, when we did reject the null hypothesis for that test, we, f we found out that we either could say uh, they are equal or not equal, but we could not tell which one of these uh, two uh, tests are not equal. So this is, could be really a good practice for us to see uh, uh, in that previous uh, videos that I recorded concerning ANOVA to see which one of those two have uh, equal and obviously one of them is going to be not equal because if that all of them are equal we will be reject not being able to reject the null hypothesis. But let's focus on this now and we'll worry about that later. So the t-test <coughs> the t-test is uh, going to uh, as a null hypothesis it's going to uh, uh, state that the two means for our population, the female population and the male population, uh, are equal. The two means are equal. And of course, the alternative uh, hypothesis is uh, stating that, or states that those two means are not equal. So we're going to go ahead and see how we're going to uh, generate the result for the t-test with two samples with unequal variances and see how we're going to come up to the conclusion whether those two means are equal or not. So in case we ended up having to do ANOVA in the future with three, four, five different population, then you will be able to uh, do uh, the uh, t-test based on two of these populations, see if their means is equal or not. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go, ahead, uh, go to the data. And we know by now the data analysis has already been installed. If it's not installed in your computer, you're using a computer lab or somewhere else, go ahead to the file uh, menu and directly go to the options and it choose the add ends to add it. I'm going to go ahead and look at the t-test. We have three of those tests. We have the pair two samples for means. We have the two sample assuming equal variance. And, but we already uh, did that in the previous video with the f-test that we found out those two variants were not equal. So we're going to go ahead and get into this one here. And obviously, I have already selected this one here. So let me go ahead and select it one more time. And I wanted to go ahead and select this second population one more time. And I'm going to make sure that label is being checked. Of course, alpha, uh, alpha value, which is at 5%. That's so the confidence level is 95%. And uh, output range. I'm going to go ahead and put it right directly here. So let's go ahead and do it right here, E4, and see what we're going to come up with. Two sample and equal variance output range will be overwriting existing data. Uh, yeah, we could go ahead and say no for now. I could go ahead and take my data uh, and cancel this because I don't want it to delete that for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that, maybe add multiple insert insert, insert, and let me go ahead and insert four of them at once. <laughs> this way we'll be able to leave me alone. And we could go to the data analysis and we're going to go ahead and run it. It's already been saved for me because it keeps track of the last one that we saved. And now we could go ahead and do it here. Uh, uh oh, I fall in the same mistake that I usually do. God. I really need to have a little bit of compassion toward myself in this case. Here we go. In this one, where I really need, I need to really specify where is the output. It should be here. And let's go ahead and run it. And here we go. Here we go. Uh, similar to the previous 
when it comes to the descriptive statistics, we had uh, female 33 hours of studying. That's their average. That's the arithmetic means. Uh, the male were a little bit less. <laughs> the variance, of course, clearly is different. But the test here, whether the means are equal or not equal for both males and females. So what are we going to do? Let me go ahead and read this for you with you. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply it uh, numerically so I'll be able to understand how to do the interpretation of the result. Uh, in the conclusion, and again, this is I got it from excel-easy.com, uh, we do a two-tail test for inequality, which we already done. If the t-stat, if this is the t-stat, which is the four, here we go. That's the first one. Here we go. Say this one here. Okay, if this is less than, and I'm going to go ahead and use the concatenation just to show you what I'm doing here. If this is less than, I'm taking my time, less than this value, less, less than this value, which is the two, tail, uh, two tails. If that is the case, let's go ahead and see if that is the case. Of, wow, well, that's a very, very large number of digits to the right of the decimal points. No big deal. Uh, we're going to leave it as it is, you know, and we're going to go ahead and list then. This is basically minus. Okay, that's what I'm saying here. I'm saying here that t test less than the negative t critical two tails. Obviously, so far it's not. I want to say here or, it says here or, which is the t test. <coughs> this is the t test. Uh, if it's the t test, uh, greater than here we're going to go ahead and do that uh, just this is only a constant just to show it to you how it's written I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit nicer this time or neater is a better word I'm going to go ahead and put those so they'll be not next to each other directly and this is, should be uh, this is the case uh, you know uh, this should be the F uh, the T stat which is greater than the positive of the T critical for two tails. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now, okay, what did I miss here? Uh, this one here, it should be this one here. Not, okay, and this one here should be, uh, the T stat is right here. Okay, so that's what it is. And notice, notice that Okay, let me go ahead and do that also as well. You'll be able to see that clearly. Notice that this is is not less than the t uh, the t stat, which we got it from here, is not less than the negative t critical for two tails. So that's false because we have or. So we could go ahead and hope that the second one is going to be uh, uh, true. So if we have one true with or. The whole thing will be true, and I'm going to say here the t-stat, which is 1.47, is greater than 2.3. Both of them are false, so the whole thing is false. We cannot reject the null hypothesis. So what does that mean? That's What does that mean? The observed difference between the sample, which is really 33 minus uh, 24 point, I guess it's 8, on the top, that's the difference between the average of the number of the hours the female studies and the average of the number of the hours the male studies. It's uh, 8.2 8. Uh, is not convincing uh, that it has enough evidence that uh, two means are different from each other. Uh, at least we couldn't say this, but we could say they are not different from each other significantly because we're really testing it at 95% significance. So this is the first time we accepted the null hypothesis based on the fact that we look here, we have two tails, we have two sides to test. You're going to test the T test. Here we go, this value here. And I'm going to go ahead and see uh, this one here and versus this one here. And notice that we're going to test it first. If it's less than the negative value of the t critical two tails, and also if the uh, t stat is greater than 2.3, which is the positive value of the t critical two tails. If uh, if the whole thing is false, we're going to reject it. 
uh, actually, if the whole thing is true, we're going to reject the null hypothesis. In this case, we're going to accept it because uh, this is, is not true and this is, is not true. So basically, that is what t-test is all about. So the means are really similar to each other or in, it have, we have an in, uh, enough evidence that they are significant, significantly close to each other or the same. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you learned something. Again, you're not going to learn anything unless you do that by yourself. Uh, here's Dr. Sam Hijazi. I wish you a great time learning through these videos, and we're going to have another videos coming your way very quickly.